Tel Aviv, I think it's around 18 degrees, it's really sunny. I just wear a long sleeve shirt and that's all I needed really. Um, so it's 1st of February, it's still kind of late winter here, so it can be a bit chilly at night, but during the day it's just sunny. Look. No. Oh, I think it's too flare up, but yeah. Yeah. Much better. So I'm here at the old tower, um, it's really pretty, today is the first full day um, here at Tel Aviv So I thought it would be the greatest idea to go on a walking tour um, to see what this city has to offer um, and to really see and hear what it's really all about from a local perspective so yeah I'll be joining a walking tour for two hours and we'll see So I just finished the walking tour. Um, highly recommend it for anyone who just want to have a glimpse of um, Tel Aviv, the old Jaffa city. Um, it's not a tour for you to stop and take pictures, however, um, you kind of just walk in you know listen to the stories the history about the place um, but it's still a fantastic tour to actually identify which area you want to come back and you know spend a little bit more time take more pictures so definitely I'll I have identified a few spots and I'll come back to those places um, tomorrow um, but for now we're gonna have some lunch um, I'm here at the port of um, Tel Aviv um, so geographically speaking Tel Aviv is situated you know beside the ocean pretty much um, so therefore the support very very important so stay tuned so I just had lunch at this place called Abu Hassan it's a local place really in a very kind of local neighborhood a little bit further away from the city but it's walkable um, I didn't film much because like pretty much I got told off by the waiter was like no phone no phone no camera I think it's pretty much a place that they wanted you to just eat and get out of the place they're really famous for their hummus um, so famous that like they're just always packed and there's like a line outside so that's why they're like hurry 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 um, so yeah so the hummus is lovely really really nice and really cheap as well um, if you are traveling like by yourself just get the hummus I, I didn't even like finish the hummus it's such a big portion but if you're traveling with like your friends family like a group person or even just a couple of you um, definitely try the falafel as well as um, the chips or french fries um, they like someone across me ordered like a side of chips or french fries and they just smell absolutely amazing and I'm just like oh I wish I could order it but I can't because I can't I can't even finish my hummus so yeah there we go so I'm just gonna take a walk around I'm yeah I'm so full that I can kind of feel myself going into a full coma um, so yeah uh, if you're in Tel Aviv 
um, one of the highly recommended places for you to eat if you want to try hummus um, and again just to note that hummus is not um, it doesn't come from Tel Aviv like Israel um, it got influence from Middle East um, because yeah yeah, if you go for the walking tour, you will know what I'm talking about because um, historically speaking, Tel Aviv, Israel, it's hugely influenced um, from the Middle East region because, you know, Middle East is just the next door neighbor. So, yeah.